Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. And welcome back to another home video, uh, bookshelf video, <laughs> home decor video. Today we're going to be reorganizing this, the main bookshelf in my living room. You can see it is a mixture of books and decor pieces. It is the only bookshelf I have in this room. So instead of it being, you know, 100% books or 100% decorative. I do have both on here. Honestly, up into about the last year, I have been almost exclusively reading digital books lately, especially with all my long cruises. It is a lot easier to bring uh, digital books than to bring physical books. But with the release of all the pretty uh, sprayed edge books that have been coming to the US in the last year or two, uh, my love for physical books has been reawakened. I have been a reader since, as my mom would say, way back <laughs> when I was little. I actually hated reading. I refused to learn to read, mainly because I think my mom liked hooked on phonics and I did not. Uh, and I refused to take any reading tests at school whatsoever. Literally refused. Uh, but once I started, I would not be stopped and I read almost every day. I have read so far 138 books this year. It is the middle of, well, it's actually the beginning of September right now. Um, so we have a lot of books on this bookshelf from high school, from college. And then after I graduated from college is probably when my physical reading of books stopped and I started reading more digital books. I got my first e-reader. Um, and I moved away from physical books. So I don't know that every single book on here is going to be a keeper. We're going to go through and see, you know, make some stacks, I'll keep, uh, donate, or maybe move to a less prominent bookshelf, one in my back uh, bedroom or my office. Not everything that I want to keep necessarily needs to be on my most important bookshelf. But as you can see, I have a couple stacks of books here that are recent acquires, some from Amazon, some from the places like Mercari. I really want to get into the Fairy Loot uh, subscription with all the pretty books. But so far I'm still on the wait list. I have been for a while. I have got two Fairy Loot books just off Mercari. I have a whole wish list of other ones that I want. So I will do a little bit of an Amazon haul for you today, just things that I have gotten from Amazon like this book. Uh, Anna and the French Kiss and it has these beautiful sprayed edges it is just a sweet little like college level high school level uh, romance but I love books like this for in between larger books things like when the moon hatched or um, things with a lot of world building um, it's just a little palette cleanser and I love that it had the sprayed edges so you know Let's go ahead and I'm going to go through these books first and then we're going to start by taking maybe not everything but a lot of things off of here and then we will put everything back. I also have my entire Cassandra Clare collection in my back bedroom uh, because I just did a reread of all of those so those will probably come back out here at some point. I do prefer them on this bookshelf and we'll go from there. So. To go through the books out here before we get started with the books in here, um, I've already told you about Anna and the French Kiss. Then I did read Twelfth Night recently. I was a big fan of the last half of this book. I was not a big fan of the first half. I bought it at Target because it was a good price and it has game on on the, on the corner. Again, it is a high school romance between a nerdy girl and the quarterback of the football team who gets injured and starts playing a video game to pass the time. They meet in the video game and they end up falling in love. And I love that part of the book, um, but there is a lot of, I'll say politics and social things in here that are not bad, but when I'm looking for a palette cleansing book, I'm not necessarily looking for those types of topics. It was a good book at the end, but while this was a strong, Hell yes, this would be a maybe. Then we have When the Moon Hatched, which of course everybody has been talking about. If you like dragons, 
Don't get your hopes up because that's what I bought this for and there's very little dragon activity in here. It's much more about fairies. I do like fairies um, and I did enjoy the book but oh my gosh y'all I have not found any other book this hard to get into since Harry Potter and you know I love some Harry Potter but the first Harry Potter book when you meet Harry on Pivot Drive with the Dursleys and it is boring 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 there is so much world building in this that until about 100 150 pages in it's like hitting your head on a brick wall once you get past that the story is amazing and I cannot wait to read uh, the next book in the series that's coming out because now that you know the characters and the world and the plot of the story it's fabulous and I really am excited for the next portions. Speaking of romance books though, which is Get Stitches, I picked this up at Barnes & Noble. I just honestly liked how it looked. I'm a graphic designer by trade, um, so sometimes I literally will just buy books that are pretty, and that's why I bought this one. Um, and it is part of a series, and the, all of them are on Kindle Unlimited, so I bought the prettiest one for my physical bookshelf, and I read the rest digitally, I loved this. It's witches and werewolves and vampires and grims and all sorts of magical otherworldly people and it's really well written and there's a lot of plot in addition to the smut which I like both. This was a good series. Highly recommend if you are into any of those things. So then we come to this stack. Now I have not read a lot of these are still on my to be read list, but I'm going to start with The Rhino Keeper. Um, this is probably going to be my next read. I just bought it because one of my friends from college, Jillian, wrote it. And I am so excited to read a book by somebody that I know. Jillian, we are so proud of you. She has been talking about this book and the level of research she has put into it. I've been following along on her Facebook page for the last couple years. And I mean, it's not a huge book, but the level of commitment and time and effort she has put into it, I am so excited to finally have it here in my hands and to read it. It is about Clara, a, I want to say a white rhino, but maybe just a rhino, and the rhino keeper who loves her, who takes care of her. It is a historical type of fiction, and it goes back and forth from the present day to the historical period in which Clara lives. She is an endangered rhino, and I I just can't wait to read it. The blurb on the front says, a novel based on the remarkable true story of a rhino who dazzled 18th century Europe and the keeper who loved her. I've heard really good things about this. Um, they're all also by people that we know and love, so I don't know. I don't know how y'all will like it, but I am really excited for it. <laughs> really excited for it. From there, I actually picked these four books up at my used bookstore, and they are gorgeous. This is the Cranford Collection, and they are all classic books. So we have uh, Jane Eyre's Charlotte Bronte, Emily Bronte's Withering Heights. We have Little Woman and Pride and Prejudice, and they are all beautiful gold foiling linen books. And I just thought they would be beautiful. Oh no! On my bookshelf. I'm a bit clumsy. We already knew that. I'm just glad it fell straight down. So I am really excited about those. These were $12 a piece. And I did some reading, some research online, and they were quite a bit more different places on the internet. So I was happy to pick these for up. There are other books in this collection. So we may or may not pick those up over time. Then let's talk about A Fate in Tim Blood, which I picked up for the metallic blue edges. And I loved this story. It is a Viking-esque tale about, you know, myth, myth kind of God creatures. They're people, but they have God-like gifts. And one of those God-like gifts is uh, given to this woman. She is a shield maiden and it is her story and I I loved it. It is the first and a two-part duology and the second one is coming out later this year. 
It has metallic red edges, so I will not be buying the physical book, um, but I can't wait to read the story. We have two fairy loot books, and I am trying to only buy fairy loot books that I really want to read as well as look pretty. So the first one is The City of Stardust, and the second one is Lore of the Wilds. And I bought these on Mercari. Once Fairy Loot is uh, sold out of something, if you are not subscribed, you cannot get them from Fairy Loot. So you have to buy them from somebody who's decided to sell their copy. Now we have The Spell Shop. This is another one that's available on Amazon. You can get it at Walmart, Barnes & Noble, on uh, any more big boxes, big boxes. Any big box store where books are sold. It is so cute. It is another palette cleanser, and it is about a woman and her best friend who is a talking spider plant, which my best friend said is enough of a recommendation to buy it. And it's just a warm, cozy feeling. We go to an island, they have a garden, they meet a man and fall in love with him. There's cats with wings. Not sure what else you need. That's pretty much everything. Then we have two more on my to be read list. Fox Glove, which I just picked up this Barnes and Noble special edition with the pink edges. I really want, there's a bunch of really pretty sprayed edge books um, for this series, which is Belladonna, Fox Glove, and the new one, Wisteria, that just came out. But the other books are on Kindle Unlimited, so I think I'm going to read them all before deciding if I want to invest in the whole series with the pretty sprayed edges. I just loved the fox gloves on this, so I had to get it. You guys know fox gloves are one of my favorite flowers. And another impulse buy during the 50% off hardback uh, sale is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. It says Read to Me Sweetheart on the side. I've heard mixed reviews of this book, but it is another high school kind of romance, so we will see. I'm going to put y'all on fast forward and we're going to start just taking books out of here, taking the tchotchkes out of here, anything that I don't know if I want to keep it in here or maybe I want to move it somewhere else. Um, and then we will start to put the books back in a way that makes more sense. Let's see if we can't get this open nicely. Oh, that was perfect. Every once in a while, the slider's on this baby. I've had this for over 10 years and she doesn't always like to come open. Right now, part of the problem is that short of these top couple shelves where I did put some books that go together together, I just kind of decorated them according to colors. Like I put some pretty pinks and up blues up here. And then at the bottom, they're literally just all in a row not according to author, not according to series. There's literally like, I think Elvis is here and uh, Erica <laughs> somewhere down here. I was just at the end of my rope when I did this bookshelf, I just said, put the books on the shelf. And that was four years ago. So let's, let's start working on it.
All right, y'all, we got her all finished. It took about an hour, hour and a half. Uh, I honestly wasn't sure how long it was gonna take. So I'm gonna give you a close up of where everything ended up and uh, what <laughs> is going to the donation pile. Not very much. We ended up with our fairy loot books here and our version of a Fate Inkton Blood along with a few other really pretty hardcover books. I do have some more space here for more books as well as just a few on their sides. I tend to organize my books according to series or author. So like I have all of this series here. These are by Mar. You can tell typically uh, for my reading habits that I will always have the first couple books and paperback and then the last couple in hardback because I have no patience and cannot wait for the last couple to come out in paperback. Part of why I started reading mainly on my Kindle. So and then we have a few of those newer books stacked up and one facing front that I just thought was really pretty and I didn't want to turn more on their sides here. Of course, as we add to the collection, things can shift. Um, again, I don't know that I will be buying too many hard book books because this is my main bookshelf. Things will have to start leaving as things come in. So now we have all of my Cassandra, Cassandra Clare series books. You can see again, I have all paperbacks and then the last one in hardback. I might have to pick that one up, but I actually really love the Cassandra Clear. Um, I don't know why I keep saying clear. Claire series of the City of Bones, the Shadow Hunter series with the characters on the side. And I think it's only like $27 from Amazon. I hate to get rid of books that I love and have read just to have different versions of them. I don't know. Then we have a few books I have from PC Cast and my copy of When the Moon Hatched, along with this cute little kittens on a china cabinet. And now we start to have the one-off books. So I have a few that are a series here, here, one-offs, and then the bottom shelves. <laughs> yes, in blog world, it is already Christmas, even though it is not Christmas in the real world here and I have a shelf here and a shelf on the other side that are just all in a row of the same sized books that are kind of I have one maybe two of them but I don't have like a whole series so here we go I've got more of a series together here so I got a bunch by uh, Armstrong. I love Kelly Armstrong. I have all of her books. Not all of them are uh, pretty. So some of them are down here in the drawers. And then we have a bunch of the series here. We have Aragon and Eldest. I need to actually get the last book in that series as well as Hunger Games and The Host and Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. All of my Harry Potter books are in the special edition trunk in my other room. So then I have my copies of Halo and Heaven series that I really liked with a few of my uh, little guys there. And then here we go. This is me. Look how cute I am. And my parents on their wedding day. Look how pretty my mama is. She made this wedding dress, sewed it by hand. My daddy's in his dress blue, so he did not sew those. <laughs> all right, so then I ended up with all of my pretty uh, classic books here, along with a few other pretty classic books, Anna Green Gable, Black Beauty, Secret Garden, King Arthur, that my mom picked me up over the years. Picked me up. She gave me these for Christmas. That's proper English. And my copy of The Rhino Keeper by Jillian. I really want to read that, and so I want to keep it on hand, and I also, I just think it works well with those books. Then we have a few of those with the pretty, pretty spines, and two other series up top here, 
that go together nicely. So that is it. Probably should uh, clean the glass here. But I love how it turned out. And now when I am sitting in here, all my books are organized. And even more important, they are all organized in a way to read them. So the only books that ended up in the donate pile was this copy of Fairy Lord because I quite honestly had two copies of it. And so I kept the one that matched my other books. Uh, this copy of Stefan's Diaries from The Vampire Diaries because I don't remember why I bought this, but I've never read it. This copy of The Two Towers that I only bought because Legolas was on the cover, and I have these in actual versions. <laughs> Nicholas Evans' The Loop, which was a gift from someone from a thrift store, and I just never read it and don't feel the need to keep it. And another copy of Pride and Prejudice, which I may see if somebody wants before I donate it, because it is actually a nice copy, um, but I don't need two copies so I'm going to either give it away or donate it. I will probably post these on my personal Facebook, at least some of them. I don't know that anyone wants leg loss there. So I think we did pretty good. I tried to keep things pretty and decorative while leaving space to grow my collection. Honestly, most of the books, except for the ones I showed you at the very beginning, I haven't read in over 20 years since I haven't been reading these physical copies. Just reread all of the Shadow Hunters, Cassandra Clare books. Uh, but a lot of these other fairy books, I kind of would like to reread and then maybe decide if I'm going to keep or get rid of them as I get new books. So I hope you liked this video. I am not necessarily going to become a book talk, book tuber channel, but I did want to share my reorganizing of my bookshelf with you and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.